hey guys uh, in this video we'll be talking about the energetics of glycolysis so energetic of glycolysis uh, it differs in different aspect like in case of uh, aerobic conditions there will be a bit more amount of ATP production and in anaerobic condition there will be less so why so what all happens let us see about this today okay now we know glycolysis so glucose to two moles of pyruvate this is a glycolysis how many steps will be having 10 steps so in this 10 step we have utilized two moles of atp minus two atp so where all we have used the first step hexokinase we have used and in the phosphofructokinase we have used another atp and four atp has been produced by the substrate level phosphorylation in the seventh step that is a phosphoglycerokinase and the tenth step that is a pyruvate kinase in this both slps we have produced 2 ATP once and 2 ATP other time. So finally 4 ATP has been produced by the substrate level phosphorylation. And if we remember in the 6th step that is oxidation and phosphorylation, we have produced 2 moles of NADH. This 2 moles of NADH enters the electron transport pathway and produces 5 ATP. Now let us calculate the entire kinetics so what all we have got minus 2 we have used plus 4 produced by um, substrate level phosphorylation and 5 by entering the electron transport pathway so what has finally come the 7 ATP so under the aerobic condition we have got the 7 ATP produced under the aerobic condition remember aerobic condition the final product will be the pyruvate and therefore we get the 7 ATP produced now what happens in the anaerobic condition so anaerobic condition glucose become pyruvate pyruvate become lactate so here minus 2 ATP as usual plus 4 ATP same again but the change comes here is the 2 moles of NAD which has been converted into 2 moles of NADH is being utilized in this step to produce 2 moles of NAD to produce the lactate and therefore there will be no more NADH that goes to the ETC and produces 5 ATP right therefore the net ATP minus 2 plus 4 it becomes 2 ATP only in the anaerobic respiration I mean anaerobic condition now what is the importance what what is the purpose of this extra step of converting into lactate in the anaerobic condition is in order to generate the NAD so in the anaerobic condition of course this cannot go into ETC that's why it's converted into the NAD and this NAD is being again supplied to the glycolysis because so even in the anaerobic condition it uh, requires NAD so it uh, keeps providing NAD to the glycolysis so that it never stops so even in the anaerobic condition glycolysis takes place glucose is being broken down but liberation of energy will be a bit less but still glycolysis is happening so that is what is the purpose of extra step in the anaerobic pathway is regeneration so this term is very important regeneration of nad for continuous glycolysis if nad supply is stopped what happened the sixth step oxidation will not takes place which requires nad continuously now okay we have seen aerobic condition we have seen anaerobic condition now let us talk about rbc rbc so what is the speciality of rbc it will not have mitochondria simple thing it has no mitochondria so here what happens is minus 2 atp plus 4 atp 
as there is no mitochondria there will be no etc and there will be no five pos uh, no five atp produced so even in aerobic condition or anaerobic condition the number of atp produced will be always two so this is the thing has to be noted in the rbc even in aerobic or anaerobic condition there will be of no difference and i've already told you lactate is the dead end of glycolysis after which nothing is formed but this lactate can be utilized by different organs in order to produce energy which i'll be talking in the coming videos okay guys thank you for watching my video if you do like share it with all your friends and do not forget to subscribe and if you think anything is missing or want something me to tell anymore please let me know in the comment section below bye